accepting Jaina as my true identity and unapologetically claiming Pa Pa Pine as my cultural guidance was far from easy. Begging, fighting, and screaming not to be misgendered, especially when simple replies using my correct pronouns, she, hers, would have changed the tone. With the current schedule that includes activities from sitting on a board of a nonprofit organization to fearlessly bashing in the volleyball tournaments nationally while getting lost in a fictional world of anime yet spiritually attached to a god that I believe has and will continue to love, protect me, and guide me. I wholeheartedly feel that these, among many other ventures, benefit my life navigating these spaces society. Being called out of my name numerous times simply because of my physical appearance definitely gets home every time. Coping with unrealistic yet very real robbery that shook me to my core while being held at gunpoint. Overcoming discriminatory actions that hindered mine and many others' chances succeeding in reaching in pursuit of my dreams. My testimony is to continue to love, no matter our unique differences. We are meant to live in honesty and love. I echo the following poem written by a trans sibling by the name of Joshua Jennifer Espinosa titled, Let Us Live. Tired of abstraction. No one says what they mean, and people die from it. Where did this world come from? Not nowhere. Not nothing. The dead trans women you glanced over for a few seconds on Facebook while deciding if the story is worth sharing. All came from somewhere. Their bodies are not flowers for you to whisper to people you will never know. There were words that did this. There were hands and guns and teeth and flesh and hair and blood and men and women and policies and police and witnesses that did this. How long can I keep tricking you into thinking what I'm doing is poetry and not me begging for you to let, let us, us.